Hi everyone, it's Judy. Welcome back to Rose Lane. Um, I've been missing a little bit this week because after I told you that uh, I had a little bit of a stomach bug, I did start feeling better and then I started having some other issues. So I hadn't been feeling very well and I developed a little bit of a head cold and just have been feeling a little off this week. So I just didn't get back down uh, this week to do too much. However, today, uh, when this video goes up, today is uh, Sunday. It's actually Easter Sunday. Um, but when this video goes up um, today, uh, it'll probably go up. I'm going to just move my camera up a little bit because this is just a little too close to me. All right. I think that'll be all right. Um, I did um, manage, it's a bit stuck in there, to come back down today and just finish up uh, this bee, what did I call it? My Summer Bees Flippy Floppy Folio Journal, so to speak. So it ended up getting really, really fat. <laughs> um, let me see if I can find a reasonable, I'm gonna have to use my gigantic ruler. Um, it is approximately, because it's rounded, about five and a quarter by nine inches. I couldn't even tell you how thick it is, more or less. Let me make sure I'm back in frame here for you, okay? Because it's um, it unrolls and it may get a little confusing. So this is the front. Here is the side with the spine. Here is the other side with the other spines. And then we have the back. I really don't know a real good way to go through this to make sure I'm still trying to make sure that I am in frame with you. Um, so hopefully it won't get too confusing while we do it. I'm going to take off this sweater cause this is my, my scary ratty sweater. Okay. So we'll open it up. And if I start coughing, I apologize. It's one of the reasons why I'm not doing the, um, sit a spell today because I just don't have much of a voice. I start coughing. <clears throat> so, hoping I'll be able to get through this without too much trouble. So this is the front cover and the front cover has the little journal on it and that comes out. Um, I'm going to just put that to the side for a minute and I'm going to bring this up to the camera. This is the honeycomb that I did um, and I made it into a pocket. And again, you watch me make this. It's vellum and uh, vellum pocket and then um, uh, I think they call it a hexagon mesh. And so it's a mixed media. I used uh, the modeling paste. I used ink. I used uh, whatever that stuff was, glossy accents. Um, and then there's a bunch of tiny, tiny little fussy cut bees. I think you can see them. I have a few. One, two, three, four, five little fussy cut bees. There's one out here as well. Tiny little fussy cut bee. Um, and then some flowers and the lace just to kind of soften it up. I probably made you really dizzy there. I apologize. <laughs> All right. So this is just the little journal. And this has the pocket on the front with the card that comes out. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so this was on the uh, frame. I cut this out and this out. <clears throat> did the fussy cuts. I did the word journal here and I put, this is just thread from when I unravel, um, gathered lace and I, cause I want to make it flat. I save the thread. So that's what that is. I don't do that too often, but <clears throat> excuse me. That's what that is. And this is just a plain journal. Um, it's got the, I just made the pages smaller. So let's just flip through this quickly so you can see some of the pages. I think it was 20, 2010 pages. I don't know. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 pages. Okay, so it looks like 12 pages. So that would be uh, 48. 
okay? 48 sides front and back in here. Some of them are these pages, and then some of them, of course, are plain. Now, that being said, I didn't put any pockets or anything in here, but they are included in, in here to put in if somebody wants it. And I left the, I did the ties to the outside rather than the inside because I thought that bow made it look pretty. So I'm just going to put that to the side. And I'm going to see. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> I'm trying to see where I need to stay in frame. All right, so I'm going to bring this over this way. And we'll open this like this. And here we have three little flip out pockets. The bows are on the pocket and the tags are in here. Okay. So we have one here, one here. That's a pretty, pretty tag. Some of these tags I made a little smaller to do what I needed. And I see this is coming undone here. So I'm gonna, whoops, extra ribbon over there. Just gonna go ahead. Sorry about my depth perception here. Just gonna go ahead and glue that back down. Move that over a little bit, make sure that's okay. Okay, and then there's one here as well. Okay, little tags. All my tag backs are plain. So that goes in there. And then all the ribbon is actually on the pocket itself. Okay, so the ties are here. This all flaps open. You can journal on this if you wanted to. Here I have in this tuck spot, there's just two envelopes and each envelope has a card in it okay so there's one and then this one i think i put them in upside down <laughs> so there's that card uh, yeah but really i guess they're journaling tags so that gets tucked back in here and this can be journaled on as well if you really wanted to and that goes back in there and then these flip back over here and then this opens like <laughs> My glue is invading me here. All right, put that in there. Am I still in? More or less. Let me move over a little bit. Okay, so this is the envelope that we made. And there's two tags in this pocket, like so. I haven't even counted how many tags are in here. And this is the little tab so that you can tuck it back over. Not that it was really flapping much anyway but it's a little tab to help keep that closed. This is another tuck spot. There's a long skinny tag in here. I didn't put any ribbon or anything on this. And then in this pocket here, I have my two small little journals or little notepads. One, two, three, four. So that's 16 pages in each one of these. Okay, so that's the front and back. And I have them tucked in with the backs out so that the little bows are out here and then that just goes back in on top of that. Then in this pocket, I'm gonna try not to move too much. This is the accordion pockets that we made. In the back here, I have a couple of postcards from the kit, okay? And then here, I have a couple of corner pockets. They're supposed to go like that. I intended them to be, <clears throat> excuse me, I intended them to be on the inside of the covers, but whoever purchases this can put them wherever they please. It does not have to be on the inside of the cover. Um, so that's in here. Here I have three small pockets that can go in the journal as well. They'll fit like at the bottom of the page. So there's three of those. And then here I have, this was meant to be a belly band. This was meant to be a side tuck, but I didn't know which side they would want it on. So I left it, they could even use it as a wide belly band if they wanted to. They could put one over the other and make a double, double belly band here and here, totally up to them. So that's what's in these pockets in this um, expanding envelope or envelope uh, accordion pocket thing. Okay, all right, I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna bring this over here now. I'm gonna open that just so this will lay flatter. Okay, so I here I have just a tag that's paper clipped <clears throat> to this pocket. 
And in this pocket, I have two more tags. Okay. I didn't, <clears throat> excuse me, put any lace or ribbon on anything because of how they were tucked in, because of how fat it was getting. So I just sort of, <coughs> excuse me, left it plain. I have a piece of a candy cane over here, which I'm going to try to use while I'm talking to you. Okay, now we've got the same thing on the other side here. A little tag that's paper clipped there. And two more tags here in this pocket. And then in here is another little journal. Again, with the bow uh, tied to the outside. And this is one, <clears throat> two, three, four. So again, this is 16 pages in this one as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let me try to get this back in here. And that is that part. Okay. Then here, <clears throat> there's a little tag tucked in. This little tuck spot up here. <clears throat> and then this one opens. And in here, there's all kinds of tags. Okay. So I really can't... <laughs> um, Try to do this with just two hands but i have four tags in the back there's two i'll probably not get them back in the right pockets because i can't see them now so there's two here there's two here okay and the next pocket up let me see if i could stand it up so i could see what i'm doing here to put them away okay more or less. Hopefully I'm still in frame. And there's a, there's a tag here. There's a small little um, coin envelope. Whoa, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I didn't ink it. There's always one for me. At least one. Let's get this inked. <clears throat> okay see if I need to do that again. Okay, so that goes back in this little envelope. And that goes back in here. And then there's a couple more tags here. Or journaling card and tag, or however you want to look at it. And here, I hung this over the top of the pocket. Just a small envelope. I didn't do anything with it or put anything in it. But I've got it hanging over here so it doesn't get lost. Another tag here, and there's a few more small tags down in here. And these kinds of things would fit into the other little journal, or if you wanted to decorate this journal, could be that one as well. So we have that in there. So that's what's in this expanding pocket, accordion pocket. Okay, let's go over this way now. And here we have another small journal that is attached to this belly band or goes under this belly band. I think this was four or five pages. I don't know. One, two, three, four. So that's another 16 pages in here, just plain. They're small, so you don't need a lot of embellishing because then you won't have any room to, to put anything. So that just goes back under this belly band. And then, well, let me leave that out here for a second. And then in this side tuck, we have these two tags. A rectangular one and this round one. And then that goes back in here, like so. Okay, then this flips over this way. And there's a tag in here, which I think I'm going to put some ribbon in. I didn't do that yet, but I will do that. So that tag is in here. And this is snug, which I don't usually like. And we have this little kind of library card in here. Okay, we have a little tuck spot here. And in here is just a group of um, two sizes of tickets, which I inked on the front. I think maybe I didn't. <clears throat> so that goes in this little tuck spot like so. 
Okay, then on here, am I in frame? Yes, more or less, bring that down. This is one of my offset belly bands, okay? And here we have a large tag, just plain with the paper on the front. That goes in here. Here is an envelope, which I left open. Um, I actually have to ink this too, so I'll try to remember that. But I left this one open so that it can be journaled on and then close back up. So that goes in here and I will ink that. And then this is one of what I call those pinwheel envelopes. And in here is another journaling card. Also can be journaled on inside. So that is that one. Okay. And that goes back in here. Okay. Straighten that out a little bit. Straighten up. <clears throat> then on this side is the other offset belly band and I put a side tuck on this tag so it has to come out this way and in this way so there is a little side tuck here the back is plain this is another envelope let me glue this down a little bit better I didn't get this lace completely glued all right just push that down while I Try to get this back in there. Okay, so that's an envelope. And then there's a pretty card in here from the kit as well. So that goes back, <clears throat> excuse me, into that envelope. And that goes back into the side tuck on the tag. And then this goes back this way into the belly band. Because when I added that lace, it made it a little tougher to get things in and out. So that's that part, okay? So now, for the sake of being able to see this a little bit better, I'm just going to flip this over. Remember, this is the front cover, and that's the middle. Now what we have here is the stacked envelopes. Now am I... Yep, I'm in frame. Okay, that's good. So then this unties here. And here we have a tag in here, which you saw me make three of these six tags, but they're all similar. And one thing I, I'm sorry I did do was I notched this out completely. I really, really like it when I notch out just the front and leave the back because I think it's easier to get the tags in. So remember that for the future. And here's the back of this and I didn't put anything on that. I did embellish this one so that it had a little something when that was closed. So here's this one, which you didn't see me make. That was one I just finished. Okay, and that goes in there. Then there's this one. Okay. Again, it's plain on the back. Put that back in there. Oh, and these tags, again, these were my tags, or uh, labels, rather, that I made. So that's what these are. They did not come in the kit. The ones that came in the kit, well, they, they were in the front, um, the ones that I used that were in the kit. But I used some other ones that I made because I wanted something a little bigger and a little different. Now, you can, <clears throat> excuse me, journal on the backs of these. I left them basically plain. So they can be journaled on if you wanted to. So here's another one that I made today. You didn't see me make this one. And that one goes back in here. And again, you can journal even on the back of this. Could journal here if you wanted to. Um, then there's this one. I think we made this one together, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And that goes back in here. And then this one which I believe we made together as well. So there's that tag. <clears throat> Excuse me, my sniffling. <clears throat> it's just a silly head cold, but it's just enough to be annoying. Okay, so that goes back in there. And then I put a little pocket on <clears throat> the bottom of this backing page. And I just put a couple little tags in there. And here I did add 
a little bit of lace because they were out of the pocket, you know, out of the pocket. They didn't have to slide in and out. And I put um, one of the tabs, you see the loop here. I put one of the tabs that come from the kits, the kit, and um, I just cut down the word bees. She had it on the longer tag. I just cut it down to kind of fit in there, and I put that in there. So that is, I'll figure it out. <laughs> there we go. That is that. So that is the whole journal. I'm taking too many. I'm taking the wrong ribbon. Um, completed at this point. I think I am done with this. And um, like I said, that is uh, the more journaly journal, the larger one that I intended the extra pockets and things for. So that's it, guys. Um, that is the whole piece. That's a lot of piece. <laughs> Um, like I said, it's, it's quite chunky. It ended up to be quite big, but that is the whole thing in a nutshell. Um, I don't think I can add any more. I am at the point where I really can't close it. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of done. I think <laughs> it's going to have to be done because I have, I have, uh, no more room out of room. So that's it guys. Um, so it was just a short video. Again, I apologize for my voice and, and my coughing and sniffling. Um, I don't know if I will get another uh, sit a spell done because, as you know, this weekend uh, my husband and my son and I are traveling um, and will be gone for the week. I don't know if I'll get the opportunity to do any videos through next week, so you may not see me until the very end of April or the beginning of May. Um, I wish I could get things done sooner, but I'm just not sure that I can. So in any case, that's going to be it for now. So in the meantime, guys, be happy, be safe, and be blessed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.